Welcome to Simply Yoga Asana on Bridge Pose. My SI joint actually went out this week, and if you're unfamiliar with the sacroiliac joint, you can take this class that I will link right here, where I speak about it a lot. In our class today on Bridge Pose, I designed this sequence to really help with pain relief for my own low back. So please take it easy and listen to your own body and grab a pillow or something comfortable for your head, and let's get started nice and slow. Lying on our backs with some support under our hands, let's have our hands down by our sides. Take our feet out to the edges of our mat and let our knees fall in toward each other. Closing the eyes, and take a few deep breaths. And just notice all of your thoughts. Notice everything that's brought you here to your mat. And inhale it all in. And then open the mouth and let it out. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. And then open the mouth and let it out. One more time, deep inhale in. And then open the mouth, let it out. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, bring the palms together in between the eyes. May your practice cultivate enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale, the hands in front of the mouth. May your practice cultivate enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale the hands in front of the heart. May all of your practices cultivate an enlightened heart. Now we'll bring our right hand toward our heart. And our left hand we can place right on our diaphragm. We're just going to do some nice, long, even breathing here as we allow our low back to relax down into the earth. So take a deep breath in for three, two, one. Long breath out, three, two, one. Deep inhale in, three, two, one. Exhale out, three, two, one. Inhale in, three, two, one, exhale out, three, two, one. Inhale in, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. For just a little bit of time, continue this even inhale and exhale. Whatever count feels right for you right now. Really allowing your back body to relax down into the earth with each breath. Take one more deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, let both of your knees fall to the right side. So the, right, the left knee will get close to the right heel. And then we'll inhale through center. Exhale, let both knees fall over to the left side. Take your arms out to the sides. Inhale to center. Exhale, both knees over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale center. Exhale to the right. This time, let the knees stay to the right, and we'll just cross that right ankle over the left knee. 
and take a few deep breaths. And place the right foot back down to the right side of the mat. Let both knees head over to the left side. Cross the left ankle over the right knee. Feel that length. And feel that deep breath. coming back through center. Let's bring our feet just a little bit closer so that way our hips, our knees, our heels, our toes are all in alignment with each other. Let's get the heels a little closer to our sits bones like we're trying to place our heel as close as possible. And then we're going to lift up our hips and then try and lift our toes. You may need to move your feet a little farther away so you can really feel those toes lifting. And just pressing the heels down into the earth. Now tuck the pelvis and then pull with your heels like you're trying to pull your whole body down toward the bottom of your mat. This should really fire your hamstrings. You can even touch them with your hands to make sure that they're working. And then the farther away that your feet are from you, the harder that this will be. So you can send them just an inch away, keep the toes floating, keep pulling the heels like you're trying to pull your whole body down your mat. See if the heels can keep inching away from you. But keep listening to your body. If you need to come down and rest, come back into it when you're ready. Same deep breaths. Really tucking the pelvis, pulling with the heels, feeling traction, so feeling space in your spine like each vertebra is moving away from the vertebra next to it, and then finding those deep breaths. And then releasing, and we're going to bring our heels close in one more time. I'm going to place both hands under our hips with the palms facing down, if that is comfortable. If not, you can just place your hands next to you. And then we're going to let the knees fall out into Supta Baddha Konasana, but our hands are underneath supporting our hips. Now we may just stay right here, pressing our palms down into the earth to really feel that opening in the hips and that traction through the low back. If it feels all right on our body, start to engage the core and lift the feet just about an inch up off the earth. Same deep breath. And if it's all right on your body, you can start to send your toes a little farther away from you. Even make little circles with the tips of your toes as you breathe. Really connecting to that spot of the body, the lumbar spine, the low back, the sacroiliac joint, where the pelvis and the spine, the sacrum, tailbone, all come together. Send the circles in the other direction, same deep breath. And then releasing down, you can release the hands, left hand to diaphragm, right hand to your heart. 
for just a moment to release and relax. Notice your thoughts, notice your focus, notice your breath. And again, let's place the heels down. We'll lift the hips up. And then keeping the left heel down, see if we can reach that right heel up toward the sky. If that's a little too much, we can place the hips back down and just try and get that heel up toward the sky. Listen to your body as it is right now. Now we'll take an inhale and really flex our toes. And exhale and point through the tips of our toes. Inhale, flex the right toes. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Keep the nice deep breaths going, but just make a circle in one direction with the tip of that right toe. Try to keep the hips right in one place. Deep breaths. In the other direction. And then I want you to bring the right thigh parallel with the left thigh, but keep the right leg straight, and then flex those right toes back toward you. See if you can get those hips a little higher, and deep breaths. And releasing that side, let's pull the left knee up into our chest and just hug that knee in, releasing the low back. You can leave the right leg right where it is or straighten the right leg out onto the ground. And then we'll reach to the inside of that left knee and the outside of the rest the left foot with the left hand, coming to half happy baby, really focusing on releasing that left side. And placing both heels down, lifting the hips up, and we'll reach that left heel high, and flex those toes, take a deep inhale in, exhale point through the toes, inhale flex, exhale point, inhale flex, exhale point, and little circles, deep breaths. Try and keep the hips stationary as we head in the other direction. And then parallel that left thigh with the right. Flex the toes back. Nice deep breaths. Try and get the hips just a little higher. And releasing that side, pull the right knee into your chest. And breathe. Straighten that left leg out or keep it bent as you reach to the inside of the right knee. Outside of the right foot. Half happy baby. both heels up 
toward the ceiling, up toward the sky. Pull the toes back towards you. Engage your quadriceps as best you can to straighten out the legs. And maybe just reaching toward this position is plenty, especially if that low back is bothering you. If you are able to get your legs all the way straight, and you can feel your core working, you can start to reach your fingertips forward along the earth. Let that pull your chest and head up off the earth and little pumps, breath of fire. Deep inhale in. If you can, grab a peace grip on your toes. Exhale back to plow or pull your knees into your chest. And then you can open the legs out if you have that peace grip on your toes. Otherwise, just pull the knees into your chest. And then bring your feet together, the knees nice and wide. Right hand to your heart, left hand to your diaphragm. Close the eyes. Allow yourself a moment to sink down, to let go, to let be. From our Sutta Bhadakanasana, we will use our hands to bring our knees back toward each other. Place the heels down, nice and in line with our hip bones. And we'll place the hands down on the ground. For some people, it's a nice distance with the tips of your fingers just grazing your heels. If that causes you to arch your back at all or do anything strange, then find what's most comfortable for you. And we'll begin just by tucking our pelvis. And then as we have a nice big inhale, we'll lift the belly and chest. And then exhale and tuck our pelvis, pressing our heels into the earth. Inhale, press the tailbone down, lift the chest and belly. And then exhale, press the heels, tuck the pelvis. And you can stay right here, just moving through. Or start to lift the hips. Now let's see if we can still find that inhale, press the tailbone down, exhale, tuck the pelvis under. Inhale, drop the tailbone, lift the heart. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, push out a little extra air. Move with your own breath. Let the pelvis come back to neutral. And we're going to inhale and press our feet away from us. Exhale and pull with our heels like we were before, trying to pull our body down our mat. So inhale and press away. Let the hips lift. Exhale, pull with the heels. Inhale, press with the toes, lift the hips. Exhale, pull with the heels. Continue with your breath.
Now letting the spine come back to neutral. We're going to inhale, press the feet away from each other. Try to widen the hips. And then as we exhale, pull the heels toward each other, trying to bring the hips together, but don't let the knees touch. So inhale, pressing out. So this is really a lot of work in our hips, even though we're using our heels. Exhale, pull the heels toward each other, but keep the knees wide. Inhale out, exhale, press it in. A few more times with your own breath. Now letting the spine come back to neutral. We'll inhale, lift our toes. Exhale, place the toes down, lift our heels. Inhale, lift the toes, drop the heels. Exhale, press the toes down, lift the heels. Inhale, lift the toes. Exhale, lift the heels. Now coming back to our neutral bridge, this time we will interlace our hands underneath us, tuck one shoulder blade and then the other, and remove the support from underneath your head if you would like at any point. And we'll breathe here for a little while, just seeing how this bridge feels, seeing if we can engage our front body while in this back bend so that our back is nice and supported by the strength of our core. You can stay here, or you can bend the arms and reach the fingers toward the sky. Same deep breath. Again, staying here, let the arms come out in a nice wide T shape. And just noticing how this shifts the work on the low back as you shift these different positions of the arms. And let's see if we can come under our hips, maybe by coming up toward our toes, so we can feel that nice supported bridge for these last few breaths. And getting one final nice open back bend, rolling up onto those shoulders, and we'll roll down one vertebra at a time. Let's pull our knees into our chest and give ourselves a little hug, thanking our body, our legs, our low back for all of that work for carrying us around all the time, supporting us as we do our work. And take a little deeper breath. And again, let's hold on to just that right leg. Straighten that left leg out as much as we can. And we can keep that right leg bent or straighten that leg as best we can. Flexing the right toes, holding on to the back of the thigh. Back of the knee, back of the calf, the ankle, maybe reaching for those toes. Taking a few deep breaths. And let's inhale and press through the heel. Exhale, see if you can get the toes a little higher. Inhale, press through the heel. Exhale, try and pull those toes. Inhale, press. 
And exhale, pull. Now grab the outside of that right foot or the outside of the right thigh. With the left hand, the right arm comes out and we pull that right foot all the way over the body for a nice deep twist. You can bend that right knee at any point if you need to. Let's see if you can start to work your way gently towards straight. Deep breaths. And coming back through center, straighten the right leg out, pull that left knee in. And again, you can stay right here, just pulling that foot in, releasing the hip and low back. Or straightening that left leg, holding on wherever you can. And then we'll take a deep inhale and press through that heel. Exhale, try and get the toes a little higher. Inhale, press. Exhale and pull it in. Inhale, press. Exhale, try and pull a little higher. And reach to the outside of the left foot with the right hand. The left arm comes out to the left side. Bend that knee as much as you need to so that you can pull that left leg all the way over the body and release out to this nice deep twist. Deep breaths. Gently coming back through center. Pulling both knees into our chest. Releasing out any last kinks, any last resistances. And then extending out into our final Shavasana. Tuck one shoulder blade and then the other. Let the toes fall away from each other. Close the eyes. Release the tongue from the roof of the mouth if it is attached. Allow the breath to come simply in and out of your nose. And give yourself just a little bit of time to integrate all of this work, all of this space. This attention that you've given
slowly, gently find your way back into your body. You can decide to stay right here, melting down into your mat. Or if you would like, start to activate through your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, elbows, knees, shoulders, hips. Start to find your way back to a comfortable seated position or just continue melting down into your mat. Taking a few deep breaths, allowing yourself a little bit of ease, a little bit of time. And wherever you are, Inhale, reach the arms out and up, bring the palms together, and exhale, everything down in between the eyes. May your life be filled with enlightened thoughts. Inhale, exhale, the hands in front of the mouth. May you always have the patience for enlightened speech. Inhale, exhale, the hands in front of the heart. May your heart have the healing it requires to live an enlightened life. Namaste. You don't have to hurt yourself to feel worthy of progress. Ease into it, and you'll find that it lasts longer. Thank you so much for joining me in our exploration through Bridge Pose today. I hope that you found a little bit of relief if you had any tension in your low back. If you would like to continue the conversation, I hope that you will join us in our Facebook discussion group. We've really started having some great conversations that have really inspired me, so I hope that they will inspire you as well. You can also find us uh, on Instagram and always enjoy hearing from all of you. I want to thank all of our amazing patrons at patreon.com slash free yoga who have all been supporting this work every month for uh, quite a while now. And as most of you know, these classes have all been based on your donation throughout the years. So if you would like to leave a little something, there is a link in the description below. And it is so much appreciated so that we can continue to grow, expand, and to bring you all of these classes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for practicing. And until the next, adventure well.